Allen. I'm with the UW University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee College of Nursing, and I'm here at the Public Health uh, at BHA Conference and have a poster that we did um, that is addressing case management interventions, dose and impact on health status of uh, low-income uninsured adults with chronic diseases. And what we did, this was a collaborative project with the Medical College of Wisconsin and Milwaukee County Health Programs. So it was funded through a Healthy, Healthy Wisconsin Partnership Program Grant, in which we really wanted to look at the impact of nurse case managers on having uh, helping individuals with chronic diseases, managing them better, keeping them out of the hospital as far as going to the emergency room, and addressing health promotion and self-management around their chronic conditions. And what we found, we used an ecological model that really looked at not only the physiological chronic conditions that they have, but other things, not having transportation, uh, other factors that affect your life as far as if you're a caretaker, a parent, how that impacts on you not getting to your provider. And so what we found is that using this model, which was telephonic, we talked to individuals by telephone, in which the nurses, for a six month period of time, people enrolled in this project, working with nurse case manager, primarily the intervention was by phone, where we work with them to identify goals. It's nice to ask people what they feel will help them, so we identified goals and work with them on addressing those goals so that they could say, hey, this is what I can do to uh, better address my health needs, as well as connecting them to their primary care provider. We did a lot with health promotion, health education, which is key to public health community nursing. And we found that in a six-month period of time, working with individuals by phone, we were able to help them improve their health status, empowered them with health information, they felt empowered to change their health behaviors, and that's what nurses do. Making that relationship, that connection with individuals to really look at how we can help facilitate their health care and really acknowledge what they do know, but they need some facilitation and guidance. And so we were able to prove their uh, health status, help them to prove their health status, make sure they were able to access the services with their provider. And there were some issues even with their provider. The providers didn't know that transportation was a real barrier. So the other thing is knowing community resources that can help to wrap around the need for them to get to their primary care providers. So nurse case management, working in relationship with individuals and helping to empower them on what they already know to do to take care of their health. Facilitating that can get some positive outcomes for the individual and keep the relationship with the provider and the nurse. It was a good process. So we used our um, we used the Omaha system, but we have an automated community health information system. And it's wonderful to know that the information we put into the database we're able to get out. And so we look at particularly not necessarily ICD-9 codes or CPT codes, but exactly our Omaha system and the ACHES system allows us to look at nursing practice. And so we've been doing this for 20 years, but it was good with this particular project that we're able to look at those nursing interventions that really affected and impacted on the nurse case management roles and responsibilities. And people had a lot of physiological health concerns, but in our data system, we're also able to track the other environmental issues, the psychosocial issues, and the health-related behaviors that really impacted on them on their health status. So the documentation was really important, and our data system allowed us to really track in on the nursing practice activities that we did to intervene to improve health status, which is very important.